Wearable fashion trends for 2022. Today I'll be sharing your ultimate guide for what to wear this spring summer. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today's biannual deep dive into the most wearable fashion trends you should be wearing this season. Not only will I be sharing what the fashion trends are, but where you can shop them right now without blowing the budget. So sit back, relax, and let me take you on a little journey through the wonderful world of fashion for 2022. Let's kickstart these wearable fashion trends with probably the easiest one to recreate. White on white on white. Head to toe, brilliant white was seen from Gabriella Hurst, the Roe, Chloe and Valentino. And while it's not exactly surprising for spring summer, it is one of my favorite fashion trends for 2022. Nothing says summer quite like being draped in crisp white dresses especially if we're actually able to wear them on a sun-drenched beach this year too. Fabric-wise, the world is your oyster. Choose from linen, cottons, flowing silks and satins, but the key to making these outfits feel up to date would be the minimalism of the overall look. Now, whether that means clean lines with an all-white trouser suit, floor-sweeping white dresses, or even adding a sprinkle of the cutout trend as well. Try and keep the essence timeless and sophisticated to really pull off this look perfectly. Designer-wise, I adore just about everything that Johanna Ortiz creates, and I thought this Accru halter neck would be beautiful for summer. Max Mara's wide leg trousers would look stunning, styled with maybe a similar toned shirt, just loosely buttoned halfway down. Isabel Morant brings a sprinkle of polish to the bohemian style and Anna Kwan's elegant simplicity with this satin bias cut dress. More affordable now and Mango keep it simple with gentle puff sleeves. I love the styling of Coz's classic shirt dress over trousers. Sleek and elegant it whistles and if you're quick there's a couple still in the sale at Reese that I would happily add to basket. The humble biker jacket. They've been a wardrobe staple for me for many years, but they're definitely back with a vengeance for 2022. From slouchy at Balenciaga, textured at Acne Studios, classic at Prada, and I love the puff shoulders at Todd's. Shopping this trend, my first port of call would be to go vintage. There's obviously an authenticity to having a piece that's quite literally done the rounds. And I personally really love when the leather feels a little bit more lived in. Mine was passed down to me by my mum. I vividly remember her styling it with her skinny jeans and her wild 80s hair. Styling wise you could go all out noughties and pair with cut out creations or my personal favourite keep it simple and refined and let the jacket do the talking for you. If you're in the market for a new one the most similar to mine would have to be this. Or for something a little bit different opt for camel suede instead. All Saints always have a brilliant selection. I also love the sustainable option from Deadwood. Saint Laurent naturally bring that authentic rock chick vibe and tick two trends at once at Nanushka. H&M tend to sell out quick but their affordable selection are often worth snapping up. And though I don't usually shop there, ASOS can be surprisingly good when it comes to biker jackets. Don't forget to let me know your favorite fashion trends as we go along in the comments section below. It's always really lovely to hear from you all. It would honestly be easier to tell you who wasn't sharing some variation of the miniskirt for spring summer. These minuscule little numbers were one of the hottest trends to hit almost every single runway. It's definitely the season to show off your legs. I'm honestly squirming at the thought. I don't like my legs and I probably never will. But as David quite rightly points out, what have they ever done to you aside from support you? So I'm thinking I might push myself out of my comfort zone and at least have a little dabble in this trend. It was actually a trend that was kind of bubbling in the background last season, but this year there's definitely no escaping it. So I set my sights on finding a selection of lovely examples that wouldn't fill me with dread. For nights out, I actually really love this version by Dodo Bar Or. It's tiny, I know, but I love the extra punch with those sequins. Going more high street now, and H&M always have the odd one or two, particularly handy if you don't want to overspend on the trend. I bought this faux leather one a month or so ago. It's short, but not ridiculously so. Though I would advise sizing down if you like it too, as it is a little bit big around the waist. Coz always hit the right note with their mini skirts, and there's actually quite a few I would be more than happy to wear 
from and other stories. I know initially this fashion trend can feel a little bit daunting, but styled in an elegant or minimalist fashion, I actually feel more comfortable than I first thought I would. With all of these trends, I've added my favorites in the description box below. I will also keep updating this list too, as more and more of these trends filter through to the high street. So it might be worth saving this video to refer back to when you are shopping. Definitely worth a little try out. Trends I won't be indulging in interlude. A quick fire round of the 2022 fashion trends I shall be swerving this year. Never have I ever, and I'm not about to start now. It is a big fashion trend that we saw all over the catwalk, but it is so fluffy to wear. They get stuck in your hair, they can get caught in your toggles, and don't even try and go to the loo in them. Though I do adore this sheer and sparkly full length number from Kate, I can't imagine anywhere that I could possibly wear it. Though I really hate to pin any trend on a certain age category, I think I should be leaving the short, sheer and sexy looks to the youth. With this one, I think unless you have very naturally thin legs, gladiator sandals and all the masses of straps that go round and round and round your legs seem to just accentuate all my bulgy bits. Then to make matters worse, they do it all the way up my legs. I should add a side note to this one. I will partake, but only in the most subtle versions that I can find. I am no way near toned enough to bear my midriff, my shoulders, maybe half a leg, all at the same time. But if you are, then please do go ahead and rock this trend for me instead. All those big gaudy labels everywhere just feels a little bit bling, a little bit look at me and for all the wrong reasons. I just dislike them immensely. I'm so sorry if you wear them and you really like them, they're just really not for me. Back to the 2022 fashion trends I will be investing in and one that's a great alternative if the idea of those micro minis fills you with dread, the full length tube dress. Now maxis rather than midi lengths will be reigning supreme this season, but while past seasons saw us embrace our inner bohemian spirit, this year maxis should be a little more structured. Think clean, straight lines tapering neatly to your ankles in the late 90s, early noughties fashion, and you'll be on the right track. Keep it ultra simple in Jonathan Simkai's cotton jersey dress, tube dress perfection at Lulu Studio. Coz naturally have this very minimalistic style, which I just love, and Arquette always bring a really affordable but high quality version of the trends. Oversized structured blazers will be worn over just about everything this season and sometimes over nothing at all. Givenchy added crop tops, Miu Miu went for leather, Altizara opted for colour and Saint Laurent focused on sharp shoulders with nothing underneath. But really looking at those trends and interpreting them for a genuinely wearable wardrobe, the key points were oversized and polished. Aside from that, what I really love about this trend was that spirit of anything goes. Choose a blazer in a pop of pink and layer it over a sheerish dress. Mix in the micro mini or maybe the puffball trend for added drama. Or just keep things super simple in a late 90s minimalist fashion and style with tailored but wide leg trousers instead. This is probably the style that I will opt for most certainly as an everyday look. It's easy both in its creation and aesthetic, and while it gives a nod to the big blazer trend, all those individual pieces are really timeless for my wardrobe. This is one fashion trend that's actually been around for quite a while now, it's just that this year it's become a little bit more exaggerated. So I wouldn't worry about investing in this one, I think it'll be around for a long while yet. If the noughties revival or late 90s minimalism isn't for you, don't panic as there's another dress trend to reach for this season. Seen by the likes of Celine, Louis V, Zimmerman and Simone Rocha, puff shapes were definitely making a comeback. Though it's a trend that's been building slowly on the high street, here's a few examples that I've found so far. Carls have had both a dress and a skirt in this style recently, but I'm imagining that the skirt would actually become the most versatile in your wardrobe. Coast tick both the cutout and the puff trend boxes with their little black dress, and I love the minimal elegance with this alternative 
from a brand called Elliot. Zimmerman brought the essence of Roman holiday to their spring summer collection, and there was definitely a feminine take on the puffball trend running through it, which I just love. Beautiful Audrey Hepburn-esque floral dresses made from silks and organza, nipped in waists and full skirts. It was dreamy, romantic, and actually hugely wearable. It feels like the high-waisted denim trend has gone on forever. I only just found a couple of pairs that I thought I looked half decent in, and alas, it's gone out of fashion. Low-rise lovers rejoice, you're back in the game. Seen on the runway from the likes of Tom Ford, MSGM, and Zimmerman, to name but a few. Like the miniskirt trend, I would say low-slung denim jeans will be one of the key trends for spring-summer 2022. So it's really worth finding a favorite pair that suit your body shape. For ultimate fashionista points, style yours in a Y2K fashion. Think midriff bearing cardies in bubblegum tones and Grecian draping tops with a heavy dollop of JLo sass. Personally though, I will be taking a more minimal and elegant approach to the trend. And I'll be looking out for pieces that will tick the box but hopefully last a lifetime in my wardrobe. I really like frame denim's interpretation and Ray's low slung and baggy boyfriend jeans hit all the right notes. On the more affordable front, ASOS have a low waisted straight leg version retailing at 35 pounds and H&M also have a couple of pairs that won't break the bank. While I don't think high-waisted jeans are going out of fashion as such, there is a definite shift to a lower waist all round in 2022. So whether you interpret that in trousers, with skirts, or in straight, boot cut, or wide leg jeans, is up to you. But you'll probably find it handy having some version of it in your wardrobe this season. We saw a lot of daytime sparkles, sequins, and glitzy style embellishments on the runway this season. Perhaps it's a result of spending the best part of two years in our houses. Designers want us out out again and doing it very loud and proud. I love the juxtaposition of a sequin skirt and a simple t-shirt, but the reality for me is my lack of places to wear such a lovely outfit combo. New Year's resolution, I must get out more. On the flip side of sparkles, enter the stripes, a trend that I'm always happy to invest in due to its really timeless quality. Balmain, Molly Goddard, Louis Vuitton, and Fendi sent an array of bold stripes down the catwalk, and I would happily wear any of them in one way or another. But sadly, my budget doesn't really stretch to a whole Balmain dress. Maybe I could afford like one sleeve, but not a lot else. So I will be searching the high street for ways that I could interpret this trend within my own budget. I like the candy colored block stripes at Oasis and the boxy fit Bretons at Cos. Lem Lem always do the prettiest summer dresses and their signature bold stripes really fit the bill perfectly. Bowden too always love a stripe, so they would be a great place to look for this trend. Keep it simple with a striped top or maybe a spring jumper, or go with a bold chevron look like this cohort I found from Wales Bonner. Norma Kamali's figure-hugging striped panel dress feels an elegant but bold way to really rock this trend. And although sadly out of my budget again, but how stunning is this Emporio Sirenese set? It's early on in the season, but Blink and the High Street will be full to the brim of different options on this trend. Don't forget to keep an eye on the description box below that I shall keep updating over the coming months as and when new stock comes in store with the High Street. Head to toe color might be the perfect antidote to your all white outfits this spring summer. And with the likes of Alexander McQueen, Christian Serrano, Valentino, Versace, and Tom Ford joining in, there's certainly enough inspiration to be had. From neon pink to coral, sunshine yellow to purples, it did feel a little bit like the actual tone doesn't really matter. It's how you style it that counts. And head to toe color blocking would definitely be where it's at. For example, think about matching blazers and tailored trousers in a pop of color rather than always in neutral. Reminding myself of that one. Or keep your eye out for cohorts that are definitely still around for another season. That's often an easy way to find a matching set of color.
The underdog trend gaining traction this season would be bootcut jeans, which I for one am particularly chuffed about as they give the illusion of much longer legs. It wasn't just Jennifer Aniston's hair we all championed back in the 90s, her bootcut jeans became a massive hit worldwide too. And it's that spirit, complete with spaghetti strap tops and platform shoes, that we'll be seeing everywhere for 2022. Pretty much every big name jeans brand already has a version of this trend, but there's a few standouts that are definitely worth a mention. I love the vintage wash to this pair from Mother, or go for classic with Citizens of Humanity. These are definitely my cup of tea with organic cotton from Ray, or go for dark indigo shade. I like these ones from Seven for All Mankind. H&M bring a higher waist version and chic for less at New Look, who have options in blue and black. In 2021, we saw a huge rise in the number of websites offering rental fashion. And it's definitely something I think we will continue to see in popularity throughout 2022. With websites like Her Collective, Rotaro, and My Wardrobe HQ, the allure of it is obvious. For a fraction of the price, we can all wear that dress to an event that would otherwise have been out of reach. For example, you could rent this rose printed Dolce & Gabbana dress for just £147 for the day. Or a classic little black dress from Victoria Beckham for just £20 a day. Many of these websites are already linked up with a couple of stores like Harrods. But I'm imagining that trend will expand even more this year. It'd be great when we get to the stage when all the stores offer the choice of either renting or buying their new collections. And resale collections directly on a brand's website would be perfect and hugely sustainable too. Though probably not much of a money spinner for the brands themselves. I'm hoping to do more rental fashion this year, certainly for those more dressed up occasions. So I shall keep you updated on that one, who are the easiest websites to order from. When it comes to shoes, I've seen a few different trends being thrown about for this season, but the one that I think will really stick would be platforms. The late 90s trend that's going to be hard to avoid in 2022. From platform brogues at Prada to the highest of heights at Valentino, it's definitely the season for gaining at least a couple of inches in height. And I, for one, am very happy about this. I remember having various pairs of platforms when I was younger. Even my school shoes had a fair old wedge on them. Yes, I did get told off an awful lot for wearing them at school, but I still wore them anyway. So it's fair to say I have a lot of nostalgia going on when it comes to this trend, but I actually find them surprisingly comfortable to wear as well. I will probably end up going for some sort of platform brogue, like these I spotted at COS, and I like the original ones at Doc Martens too. On the heels front, I think you'll have the pick of the bunch from the high street stores come the height of summer, but for now it's mainly the designers that are sporting this new look. Trainers got a little bit of height too, from the likes of Adidas and Isabel Morant, to name but a few. And sandals will stay pretty similar as last year, but with that added bit of height, bringing them more up to date for this season. As you've probably gathered throughout this video, one of the key points for looking really on trend this spring summer would be to channel a bit of 90s minimalism. Designer-wise, Jill Sander springs to mind, having had this aesthetic for many years. But hopefully you've seen throughout this video that the high street can be really adept at mirroring what we see on the catwalk, albeit a little bit later down the line. White dresses with platform sandals layered with big blazers to finish, or minis, straight maxis and stripes all hit the mark. And if you're wanting to opt for color, Go all out and do it head to toe. Low-waisted trousers or maybe a boot cut, paired with your platform shoes and a giant tote to finish, and you'll be rocking 2022 like a seasoned fashionista. What fun we're going to have styling that lot this year. I, for one, cannot wait. Don't forget to let me know your favorite trends in the comments section below and your favorite piece that I found along the way. If you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful, I would really appreciate any thumbs up you've got going spare. And if you're not already subscribed, that would be highly appreciated too. Thank you so much for joining me and for all your support for what I do here on YouTube. And hopefully you'll come back next week for lots more fashion tips and styling advice. Have a wonderful week, everyone. I will see you then.